Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. This is my July update for my Let's Get Panned Project Pan. This project was inspired by the music from the band Def Leppard from the 80s and 90s, and I have had so much fun doing this project. It is a fantastic ladies collab, and it was created by Deb B., Erica Conger, and myself. And like I said, so much fun, so much fun creating the project, so much fun doing the project. All of the prompts are Def Leppard songs. So the first prompt was Gods of War. So it's something that you use to camouflage. Well, I brought in the Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream. There's a very nice dip happening in there. I have a goal of 50 uses on this and I have used it seven times. I did put higher usage goals on these products because this project does have to last until March. And I'm afraid that if I roll them all out too soon, then um, I'll be done way too soon. So I do have a 50 use goal on that and only seven uses. So it's going to be in for a while. Next up for the prompt, I want to touch you. You were to bring in a hand or body lotion. I brought in the Bath and Body Works Breathe Deep. This is the Eucalyptus and Lavender. I have a goal to finish this. It's still hanging on. This is where I am now. I had a big jump from here to here. And just a baby jump from here to here because this was in my work bag and I was using it at work. Every single time I washed my hands or I needed lotion, this is what I used. Uh, since I'm not at work, I kind of forget about it, but I do have a grand total of 62 uses on it. I can't remember where I left off last month without going back and watching the video. I didn't make mark there. Uh, so, but this is this is where I am. I went from here to here, but I do have a total of 62 uses and you guys, there's just not much left in order to get anything out of it. I do have to take the top off and squeeze because with the top one, it doesn't want to come out. So hopefully that will be rolled out by the next update. For the prompt love and affection, you were to pull a product from your favorite makeup brand or your favorite brand. Uh, I don't have a favorite. I have so many that I love, but one of the ones I do love is Melt. And I brought in the Melt Amor y Mariposa um, eyeshadow palette. It is beautiful. And my goal on this was no pan left behind. And you guys, I met that goal. I did. I met that goal this month. I think last month's update, I had about 12 shadows to go. And I did, I finished them and I am excited. I loved using this palette. It had been a while since I'd used it, but I'm also excited that it's rolling out and I can roll something else in. Next up for the prompt Pyromania, you are supposed to bring in something that you want to set on fire. And uh, I'm not a gloss girl. I don't love glosses. So while I don't really have any products in my uh, collection that I hate enough to, to catch the, you know, set them on fire. I do not like glosses, but the ones that I do have, I don't mind as much. But anyway, I brought in the Buxom and this is in the shade April. I had a 30 use goal on this and I have used it five times. So I still have quite a few uses left to go on this. I've only really used it when I thought about it and it's sitting right here for me to see, but I don't, I just tend to overlook glosses because they, they're, they just stick to my lips. My hair sticks to my lips. I just don't like them. I just don't like them. The final prompt is women and it's something from a woman owned brand. I brought in Sydney Grace cream shadows. I have this little palette that has all of my Sydney Grace cream shadows in it. I set a 10 use goal on this. And as of last month, I believe I only had two uses on this, um, but I have used it the final eight times and this is rolling out. I mostly used these three shades and these two shades because I did a lot of warm, uh, warm eye looks, warm neutral eye looks. So I used those. I did use this once. I did use this once. Um, but yeah, mostly it was the neutral, but it's rolling out. Uh, I was really happy to get all of the use on this because it, it, cream shadows are not something that I usually reach for. 
Um, I, I reach for eyeshadow palettes and my singles that I have in projects. I don't really reach for uh, my cream shadows or my shadow sticks very often at all. I have to put them in projects in order for me to get use on them. So yeah, I used that 10, the use them 10 times total and I'm ecstatic about that. I am going to roll two items in. I have up my Let's Get Panned wheel. So I'm going to put it up on the screen right here. We're going to draw two items. My volume is up. Uh, it is too late for love. And then the second one is, have you ever needed someone so much? So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to see exactly what those mean. I kind of think I know, but I want to see exactly what they mean. I'm going to pick my products and we'll come back. We'll discuss. Don't go anywhere. We are back. I chose my products. The first prompt that I drew was too late for love. And that is to dupe a product that you missed out on. You guys, that was really hard. I had to really dig deep for that because Honestly, there aren't very many things that I'm sad that I missed out on. Um, I came kind of late to the beauty space. And while I've worn makeup my entire life, I wasn't really into watching all of the YouTube videos and all of that. And so I don't really know a whole lot of things that is, are discontinued. But one of the things that I do regret not buying was Makeup Geek. I knew of Makeup Geek. I wanted Makeup Geek. At the time, I could not afford Makeup Geek products. And it wasn't until I could technically afford them that uh, they're gone. So there was a blush that I remember people using, and it was called Hanky Panky. And I do have a dupe right here. This is the Misho, Misho Beauty Blush. I got it in an Ipsy bag and it is such a beautiful pink blush. I will of course have a picture up here of the original and I think that this dupes it really, really well. So I'm going to use this 20 times before I can roll it out. The second prompt that I brought in was, have you ever needed someone so much? And that is a product that you constantly repurchase. I do have several things that I constantly repurchase, but one of them is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. You guys, I just finished one of these and I had two in backup. Thank, one of them, thanks to my friend Michelle, who sent it to me for my birthday. So uh, I'm going to use this and I'm going, to, I'm going to use it 50 times. That won't be a problem. So it's going to be in here for longer than a month. But like I said, we need to stretch this out a little bit because uh, it has to last until March and I'm having too much fun with it. So uh, yeah, 50 times and then I can roll it out. So to recap, I have to use this 43 more times before I can roll it out. I have to finish this guy. That will be rolling out by next month. Guarantee that. The Buxom Gloss, I have 25 more uses on that. No promises. No promises at all. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. And until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.